What's going on, y'all? It's Flight Sports TV, man. I appreciate y'all checking out with me, man. We got a nice hot topic we're going to touch on today. Um, we're going to be touching on the Portland Trailblazers. They just got blitzed by the New York Knicks. They got beat ugly. Shout out to my New York Knicks, Mike Miller, head coach, you know, interim head coach, doing this thing. Um, we can do a video on him, too, you know, because the Knicks, they on a three-game winning streak. They got a West Coast road trip coming up. The Knicks is, 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 are responding well to the to the new coach. And I see better play from the players uh, than, um, than I've seen under um, Fizdale. Um, but today we're going to be touching on the Portland Trailblazers, and they, they're losing. I believe they're in the midst of a four-game losing streak, and I've been evaluating them, their play very extensively uh, since Carmelo Anthony, the great uh, Carmelo Anthony, the living legend, uh, has signed with them recently um, in the season. So I've been really watching these guys and evaluating their play and the whole team in a whole. Um, so we're going to be bringing, um, basically we're going to be touching on, is it time for the dynamic duo, Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum, to end terms with each other? Is it time for upper management to intervene and shuffle the deck a little bit? Um, we're going to get into it. What's your thoughts? Uh, let me know. And I'm going to let you know mine. But before we do that, I need everybody to hit the like button. And most definitely hit that subscribe button. It's Flight Sports TV. Donate to the platform. The link will be in the description box below this video. And also in the comment section. Check out the merchandise store. PExoticShop.com We got sweatsuits and bomber jackets. It's real wavy. I keep all the links very accessible for the people. Okay. Um, definitely. Um... Don't forget about that 100 subscribe, $100 giveaway. We're creeping up on 70 subscribers right now. Uh, you know, I appreciate all, all my new subscribers. I appreciate everybody that's showing love to these videos. We can't do it without the people. Um, this is the people's channel, so get in the comments section after every video and let's talk. I'm going to try to get back to every one of my people that's commented. That's the difference between us and other channels. It's Flight Sports TV. Let's get back into it. All right. So the the Blazers are just not playing well. Um, they're really just underachieving. You know, um, I've been noticing that with them. Uh, last year, um, I believe the Portland Trail Blazers capped out. Um, getting to the conference finals, I, I really felt like they really overachieved that year. Um, you know, because the the year previous, two seasons ago. Uh, I believe they got swept by the New Orleans Pelicans. So, coming into the playoffs last season, they, they was under a lot of pressure where they couldn't lose in the first round. And they and Damian Lillard and C.J. McCollum willed their ways past Denver in seven games to get to the conference finals. They had no business in the conference finals. It should have been Denver versus Golden State. But just their willpower just willed them to the, to the Western Conference Finals. You know, and I felt like that was accomplishment. And who knows if they can ever get back to that point again unless some dramatic trades happen. Um, you know, so um, what, are you, what are your thoughts about the situation? Um, do you think oh, it's too early to break it up? Do you feel like you've seen enough? Um, or, or I'm with the assumption that I don't feel like they're going to ever get as, as far as they got last year. I really felt like they maxed out. When I say capped out, that's pretty much what I'm saying. I felt like they they really maxed out their talent uh, as a team and together as a whole. And um, this year, they, they're severely regressing. Um, you know, they lost a lot of pieces. Al Farouk Amino, Mo Harkless. Um, you know, and don't forget about Nurkic. You know, he broke his leg last season. You know, um, who knows what would happen if they had Nurkic? You know, that's a major piece missing. People um, underestimate the impact of Yusef Nurkic being hurt. I mean, that's really like a stalemate in this team. And then Rodney Hood goes down with an Achilles. Rodney Hood, pardon me, Rodney Hood was really playing great basketball. Like, his three point percentage was through the roof. He was very reliable. And Portland is really hurting without Rodney Hood right now. 
you know, I'm just gonna put that put just put that out there. They was turning the corner with Rodney Hood. Now they got Ken Bazemore on the starting lineup. Things is kinda kinda crazy. I'm just trying to paint the picture before we make any decisions. That's what I like to do. I like to paint the picture for the people that might not be up to date what's going on with Portland. I'm here to let you I'm trying to break it down. So what I'm seeing now and like I said, they signed Carmelo Anthony just to stop the bleed. And they, I believe they're ninth right now in the West. Okay, so they got it. They they got it. They got some decisions to make. Um, do you do you trade CJ? You obviously just re-signed Dame to a mega deal. You, you know Dame is safe. Obviously, if they're gonna if the Blazers are gonna make a move, it's gonna be CJ McCollum. Or you're gonna keep those two and give up the young pieces that you got with Anthony Simons. Um, I forgot that other guy, Nasir Little. You got a couple of pieces on there that you could you could shuffle around to possibly attract something, you know. Uh, and I believe that's the route they should go instead of just going for the wholesale changes and just giving up C.J. McCollum because you don't really know what can what can come from that, you know. Um, you really unless you're gonna get a, a bona fide All Star in return, I, I say you hold off. You know, if you can get Drew Holiday, yeah, I would think about that. But if it was a situation where you're trading uh, CJ to the New York Knicks uh, for some of that collection of talent, who knows? Um, and I be- and I would love to see CJ with the Knicks. You know, that I think that's a good that's a good piece. For- I would like that. You know, would, would um, Portland would they take a, a Kevin Knox? A Frank Nellikina, um and, some, and something else. You know, I say you hold on to Mitchell Robinson, you know, by all costs. Hold on to Mitch um, and RJ. You know, if you got to give up RJ, so be it. But I would try to keep him. You know, but if you can basically keep, it all depends on how you're going to do this. You know, if you want to keep um, Frank Nellikina and give up RJ, you know, but Mitch got to stay, you know. It's a, it's a tough situation. It's all about if that was a situation on the table. But evaluating this team, man, Portland, they just jack up a lot of shots, man. Well, sometimes when I'm watching this team, it almost it almost gets me angry, you know, just like, good gosh, like how many, like they take a lot of bad shots, man. And in Portland, I, I don't know, sometimes when I watch them, I'm like, how the hell did this team get to the Western Conference Finals? How did How has this team been a perennial playoff team for the past couple of years? All they do is jack up shots. And the sad part is, when they're making them, they, they look like the best team in the world. Okay, but when they're missing them, they really look crazy, you know. And the past couple of games, and really on and off throughout this season, Things have just been looking crazy, you know. It was very up and down, and it's seeming like it's seeming like these guys are they can't get this team over the hump, you know. Dame and CJ can't get this team locked into the playoffs. It seems like from now on end, it's going to be a battle, you know. I, do you uh, strike the pot when it's hot right now and go get something and maybe get y'all over the hump? And do Portland? They can use a, a collection of pieces. You know, I'm not sure if you need all this high volume chucking, you know, going on. And that's what's going on with Dame and CJ, two two chuckers, you know. When they drop and they look like they look marvelous and then like I said, when when lately they've been looking horrendous, you know, and looking very disgusting, you know, watching watching the the shots being jacked up. You know, they just got they just lost to the Knicks by over twenty plus. You know, Carmelo Anthony did his job, he had twenty six. Dame and CJ didn't really come to the party tonight. Dame had a he came on in the second half and CJ just was chucking it all up. So I, I it got me th- it got it has me thinking that behind the scenes in the Portland Trailblazers organization, I believe they're listening to calls, you know, and I believe CJ is available. Just um, I'm not sure what it's gonna take to get him or get pry him away, you know. Because if you Portland, do you take a, a collection of young pieces or do you go star for star? And C.J. McCollum is an All Star, even though he's never made an All Star team. You know, the West is super crowded, you know. But but C.J. is an All Star talent, you know. Come on, everybody knows that, you know. So that's what I'm saying. Do you give up? That's why I was I brought up a Drew Holiday, for instance. Drew Holiday made the All Star team years ago in Philly, but 
recently he's not an all-star on the actual team, but Drew Holiday is an all-star caliber player. So I could see a swap for swap on a situation like that. Then I could see that, then you know, go go even even imano imano, you know. But Portland has to be very careful in dealing with a CJ McCollum because they don't have many pieces, you know. They don't have many trade chips, you know. So they when they deal these pieces, they gotta do it. They gotta be correct because they you know they, they gotta just do it correctly. You know they can't afford any major setbacks. Because they have minimal pieces on the table. You got C.J. McCollum and, and and possibly these two young guys. That I mean, and who, Anthony Simons and C.J. McCollum is like your only real pieces, you know. So they got to be very careful in the dealings of those two to make sure that they get it right. So you can't just trade him just because you're upset tonight. You know, things got to get be done correctly and strategically. It's Flight Sports TV. Um, I'm, I, 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 I think Portland should hold on to Dame and CJ and Melo, uh, and possibly go out, go out and make a trade. You got Anthony Simons, you got Little, you got um, Kent Bazemore, you got some picks, you got Hassan Whiteside, you got Yusef Nurkic. You know, I say you package a couple of those pieces and see what you can do. That's what I'm thinking at this point. You go out there, package some pieces, see what you can do, and get this team built correctly. Let me know what y'all think, so this team could at least secure its playoff positioning. Because right now they're not really secure. Right now it's kind of it could go either way, so they got to really, really think about making a decision. But as of right now. I feel like not only is Terry Stotts. Uh, bottom line is, if they don't make the, if they don't make the playoffs, Terry Stotts is getting fired at the end of the season. Like uh, he's looking like a lame duck right now. You know, um, he'll be out of there by the end of the season uh, if they don't make the playoffs because you can't just go to the conference finals and don't make the playoffs the next year. You know, it's going to be severe consequences behind that. He'll probably more than likely be one of the first coaches out the door next season. Um, they they started turning on a little bit late. That's why they didn't fire him so early. But that's just that's my take on the situation. It's it's looking ugly. So I just I, I I'm just bringing you my analysis on the on the Portland Trailblazer situation. Hit that like button. Most definitely hit that subscribe button. It's Flight Sports TV. Hit the link in the description box below this video for all donations. All donations are appreciated. Don't subscribe to this channel. Don't forget. We almost up to 70 subs. It's Flight Sports TV.